Y'all know I woke up with an attitude, right? So you mean to tell me we tore up cities all around America in the name of Black Lives Matter just to turn around and have eight people in New York, in Brownsville, Brooklyn, East New York, shot last night. One of my mans, his sister-in-law got hit in the head last night. You mean to tell me, we came together in many different cities in New York to protest the death of a black man that was killed unjustly just to turn around to have a black man shoot eight people unjustly now my question is the same energy that we had for that one man that died where's the same energy for the eight people that got shot last night let me guess we gotta wait for the Al Sharptons and the Jesse Jacksons of this new era to get together and be sponsored. Nah, that's not gonna happen. See, it's amazing how we could play this 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 military mind game of going out when they pick and choose for us to march. Eight people got hit last night. There was one George Floyd that died. One at that moment. May he rest in peace. But eight people got hit last night in Brownsville. Are you feeling where I'm coming from? Eight people at one time got hit last night. Some of them are clinging to life. We tore cities up all around America just for Brooklyn. In Chicago to be acting like animal and then y'all want to get mad when Trina sit up there and call you animals no she was absolutely right some of you are animals so much to the point the way that kids are rebelling against their parents because the parents won't let the kids go outside to their early grave let me say that again you got people in the hood parents in the hood who won't let their kids go outside to hood parks and stand in front of hood buildings because they don't want them to be hood executed so the kids are rebellion rebelling against their parents because they feel like their parents are being mean what it really is is that they know that the dangers that lurk that lurk the evils that lurk in the hood you know the crabs in the barrel syndrome where people feel like i ain't got nothing so you can't have nothing i'm having a bad day at home so i'm gonna take all my anger out on guess who somebody that looks just like me so these parents don't want to send their kids outside to their doom. They try to keep them in the house. Then the children rebel. They run away. They act out. And then they get caught up into this sucker mentality where everybody wants to be a real, a real nigga or a bad bitch. Everybody wants to have some type of hood status that don't get you nowhere but to an early grave or a lifetime sentence in the penitentiary. Now I ask you a question. Right? In the hood, are you going to pull up to the apartment of the shooters who shot the eight people out there in Brooklyn? The same way y'all pulled up to the police officer house? You know, took a plane from New York all the way to the Twin Cities and got escorted to his house? Can you please get the police to escort you to the shooter's house and clear them niggas the hell up out of our community so we can live and let live? Because if we really going to be about this Black Lives Matter shit, it don't start just with the police. It starts here. It starts now. Why am I the only one making a fuss about this shooting last night? Aren't we all from New York? I get it. See, what y'all don't get, man, some of these people were paid activists, man. And they activated. And then they activate you off of your emotions but I share this video and y'all share this video. Now let me see if you share this video to, st to start to stop the violence movement. Right now, all over, 
YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. We need to start a stop the violence movement right now. If y'all really about that life, the way y'all was out there burning them stores, looting them stores, stealing like your mama ain't raised you to be shit, looking like your mama ain't raised you to be shit, because ain't no grown ass man going to be sitting up there raising his kids to be a thief, and ain't no grown ass man with any integrity going to steal from nobody else's store because you already got everything you need. You thieving, conniving, little dirty, rotten scoundrel bastards. Forgive me if I sound a little crazy right now because I'm feeling some type of way. Trina was absolutely right when she called us savages because that's what the hell we look like up and down them streets. We out there fighting for justice for a slain man laying dead on the floor and then turn around after all of that and start slaying each other all over again. Now isn't that some ass backwards shit like I ain't never seen it? I bet y'all won't share this video. I bet you this video won't get 100,000 views. I bet you it won't. I bet you y'all not gonna pull up on them, put them people in Brownsville and knock on their doors like we tired of you shooting the block up. We tired of you shooting our sisters, the one that got shot in the face last night. She got hit in the head with a headshot. And I bet you that right after this shooting there's gonna be a little, a little black bastard rapper Little bastard, little conniving bastard, little demon who channeling demons. He gonna write a rhyme about it. About how he pop his Glock and rock somebody not. And it's gonna be a song made about somebody that looked just like him. We got so many wars going on right now. Pick and choose your battles. Pick and choose. You can't play both sides of the fence. It's supposed to be us against them and us against us too. How you gonna win when you ain't right within? Hold that. And I'm out. Oh, don't forget to share it. Nah, you don't even have to because we already know y'all don't give a fuck. Social media gotta tell you when to care about other black people.